Ikaria. Yes, it has the same picture postcard beauty as other Greek islands, but there's something else going on here. Perhaps it's the food. Perhaps it's the wine. So cheers, cheers. and welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I feel younger already. Mm. <laughs> Whether it's the very old, you are very fast <laughs> on your feet, or the very young, there's an extraordinary vitality here. A way of life where people start dancing when they're children and don't stop having a good time even when they reach 100. <laughs> Which on Ikaria is very often. <laughs> I think he's still flirting at the age of a hundred. <laughs> this island has a secret. What is it about this place that means the inhabitants live longer and better than the rest of us? Scientists say the people of Ikaria live at least 10 years longer and with radically lower rates of serious illness like heart disease and dementia. Right now, a team of scientists is trying to find the answer. And what they discover might change the way we all live. It's fine, perfect. Dr. Christina Chrisohu is a cardiologist who's been tracking the health of Ikaria's older residents in a landmark four-year study. It's normal. It's normal even for my age, mm -hmm. which means that there's no, there's no severe atherosclerotic disease. What she and her colleagues are finding is quite simply astounding. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're seeing patients up to 100 years old whose hearts are in much better shape than medical science can explain. His vascular aging is younger than his age. How much younger? About uh, 20 years younger. Dr. Chris Ahu and her fellow scientists are now taking DNA samples bid to discover if there's a genetic component to this mystery. There is something special yes, going on here. Yes, something special here, yes. People on Ikaria don't just live longer, they're much more likely to arrive at old age with all their faculties intact. Most astoundingly, we found almost no sign of dementia. So these people are not only living a long, healthy life, they're reaching the end and they're very sharp. And that, at the end of the day, is what you want. Dan Butner is the best-selling author who first identified so-called blue zones, those places in the world where people have the highest life expectancy and the greatest chance of reaching 100. Ikaria is the most shining example yet discovered. The maximum life expectancy for our species right now is about 92. The Ikarians are reaching that better than any other population in the world. It seems to me effortless for the Ikarians, far more than the rest of us, to reach 100. None of these 90 or 100 year olds ever tried to live to be 100. Longevity happened to them. God. 100-year-old Grigoris Tassas is out for his daily coffee in the town square and still as sharp as a tech. He says that you should come and stay in that village and you will have, uh, you will reach that year. <laughs> that age. These days, Grigorius is not exactly a poster boy for good living. But between lighting up a ciggy and downing a bowl of ice cream, he's happy to share his recipe for long life. So tell me, what, what is the secret? Just his dynamics to Anthropode. He says the red wine makes you stronger. have lived on this rocky, mountainous island for at least 9,000 years. 
It's about as far away from mainland Greece as you can get, just 50 kilometres off the coast of Turkey. And that remoteness is common to all blue zones, from Sardinia in Italy to Okinawa in Japan. They're all isolated in some way, untouched by Western civilization or the American food culture. They're dependent upon each other because there is no one else to rely upon. Yes, our kind of incessant reaching for more comfort may not really be the best uh, route for longevity or indeed even happiness. That a little bit of hardship, I think, tempers human life. The rugged terrain of Ikaria has bred tough, resilient people who walk and climb hills every day because they have to. Men like Christodoulos Pouros, who at the age of 95 is still as agile as his goats, and recommends a hard bed, not too much of the good life, as secrets to a long life. Ella, Ella, twin. Twin. Porta Rica. He eats a lot of beans, vegetables, yeah. milk, eggs, um, whatever from the nature. Jafta in Evlavera. Ah, yeah. 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 He said, not too much sex. <laughs> With, <laughs> not too much? <laughs> not too much. <laughs> Just not enough. Then there's 99-year-old Evangela Canava, reeling off the family stories of a century ago as if they were yesterday. As if she was still a 20-year-old beauty. And like every good Icarian, Evangela has her own unique take on the fountain of youth. In Pepsi. She loves Pepsi. In Pepsi. She's addicted. <laughs> Everyone has a theory. For some, it's the high levels of naturally occurring radioactive elements such as radium. For others, it's the herbs that grow wild all over the island end up in just about everything the Carians eat and drink. I read of a, a magical tea, such a thing. We have a lot of herbs here. We have many different teas here. And they have been analyzed and they have been shown to contain properties that are much stronger here in Nicaria. Thea Perikos was born and raised in America. Like many second-generation Icarians, she's come to the island her parents left in search of a quieter, more meaningful way of life. We call this Combo Horto, and it's used specifically for, for chest, for asthma, for colds. It's definitely one of the main ingredients for a long life on Icaria. Today, Thea has her own restaurant, and her traditional Icarian recipes might well be the Bible for healthy eating. Now this, this is interesting. This is... These, are diff these are a variety of wild greens. And olive oil, essential. If you don't have olive oil in your house, you can't cook. <laughs> if you want to cook, you have to have olive oil, oregano, garlic, lemon, these are the basics. So how many more years will I get if I eat this dish? Number 10? <laughs> Would you eat processed food at all? No. When you make a chicken soup, you have chicken, rice, lemon, salt and pepper. That's all you need. And you don't need to go to the supermarket for that? No, you kill a chicken. <laughs> Apart from chicken and a bit of goat, most Icarians eat very little meat of any description. Their diet is almost entirely plant-based. Icaria has the most extreme version of the Mediterranean diet, but there are a few variations. Okay. For example, uh, potatoes figure much more prominently in the Icarian diet. Oh, Interestingly, nice. you'd think uh, okay. fish but where Icarians lived, where the, the centenarians of today, they mostly lived inland, which was a day's journey uh, from the sea. So it would take two days to, to get fish. So it was much easier for them to focus on a plant-based diet, which they indeed did. Ah, and then of course, okay, there's wine. the wine. This is your own? Yes. Okay, this is essential. 
Yes, this is a basic necessity. Well, we know that drinkers outlive non-drinkers, which isn't to say if you're not drinking now that you should necessarily uh, take it up, but um, uh, we know that uh, people who drink two to three glasses a day are probably drinking the um, optimal amount. These fiestas are held regularly all over the island. And in the interests of accuracy, I have to report that people were drinking slightly more than two or three glasses, though it didn't seem to be doing them any harm. And something else too, it might just be the Icarian social life that holds the key to their longevity. We don't have a table for the younger children and then the table for the adults. There's no lines of separation between the generations. And this is very nice because nobody feels out. Is that the key to what we're talking about, longevity? I think this is a very important part because nobody feels useless and nobody is left alone. <laughs> Even the scientists admit it may be the answer that's eluded all of their tests. They are useful in the community till the very end. And no one's left out. This is the secret, not only living uh, up to advanced age, but also having good quality of life, which means good mental stress without depression. And in order to have that, you must have a purpose in your life till the very end. It seems to be working for the people of Ikaria. So perhaps it can work for the rest of us too. How has it changed your life then? I eat mostly a plant-based diet. And family's a lot more important to me than career was. I look pretty good for 104, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> and if all it takes is good food, good wine, and good company, what's not to like? Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.